Trust me, I love violent video games. Now, I'm not some type of maniac with a thirst for blood. I'm just a guy that likes shooters and other action-filled games. I'm also at the appropriate age to be playing those kind of games because, you know, we forced that rule, huh, GameStop? One time I was going to GameStop minding my own business and I was probably listening to some dope music in my car like Nas, Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, I don't know, I was listening to something really dope and I was in a pretty good mood. So I'm in GameStop buying Elder Scrolls V Skyrim for the sixth time. Don't judge me, Helgen needs help. And the GameStop employee goes, you know this game has sexual themes, violence, and use of alcohol. Yes, I do. That's why I'm buying it, especially for the sexual themes. Now get out my face, loser. But sometimes I like games that are more laid back, games that don't make you shoot up an airport, games that don't make you torture people. The Sims 4 is an example that comes to mind. I love The Sims 4. I get to play with other people's lives because I hate my own. They recently announced that universities are coming to the game. Now that's pretty cool. Now I get to escape the stresses of real life college and go to school virtually. Yay! Now Animal Crossing is a game that I consistently fall in love with. It's like the Scarlett Johansson of video games. Now this game lets you build a house, a venture through a town, while Tom Nook hounds you for money every single day. What type of pimp are you, you oversized squirrel? <laughs> Lastly, Minecraft is a game that gives gamers so much freedom and creativity. The openness of the game never ends and it's great. This game is so chill that the menu music will literally put you in a coma. Thank <laughs> you.